Whoa, ho! Hey, 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 what's up, my Wild Stormers? Peter A. DeLuca here. It must be Wild Storm Wednesday because we have a giant box of Wild Cats action figures produced by Playmates, the company behind the greatest toy line of all time, Toxic Crusaders. You guys thought I was going to say Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but no, they're also the company behind the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figure line. A ton of great creations, a ton of great sculpts. I believe these were sculpted by Werner Studios, by the way. But it's a giant box, and they're all loose. And we have card backs, and we have trading cards, accessories. And this is crazy. Even one edition of Wildcats number one. So join me. We're going to hit the drawing table. We're just going to unwrap all of this. And then we're going to do a little bit more of a conversation of what the Wildcats franchise meant because it was supposed to dethrone the X-Men. The guy who has the highest selling comic book of all time, Jim Lee, X-Men number one, eight million-ish copies sold. He creates Wildcats. Wildcats was supposed to be the next X-Men. Everyone was in on it. The bankers, the financiers, all, the whole crew. It didn't quite work. But guess what? We're here to show some love and to appreciate some of that sweet 90s goodness. Let's go. All right, AKA Patters, we got to, I'm not even sure how much of this is going. Let's just see how much of this shows up on screen. Okay, <laughs> well, maybe we can do, maybe we can get away with that. So let's just get into this wonderfully packed box. On top, oh, excuse me, on top we have accessories and trading cards. The trading cards, they're huge, everyone. We'll get into that very quickly. And then this is actually, I was so surprised that these were included. I had to check them out immediately because I was curious about the comic. Because the dude I got these from said a Wildcats sample comic. And I didn't know what that meant. But it's just a sample of Wildcats issue one, great condition. What card is, ah, we got the Spartan. Remember, there's two separate trading cards. There's two Two versions, two variants, but two separate trading cards for Wildcats number one. So that's sweet. And yeah, and check out the card art. Jim Lee, uh, that looks like Ryan Benjamin. More Jim Lee, more Jim Lee. A Scott Clark Mall. We get nobody for Pike here. <laughs> Pike's completely torn off. We have another Z-Lot. Z-Lot looks like a Jim Lee. Nah, maybe is that that's that's Jim Lee. Oh, uh, Void's the tough one. Who drew this one, everyone? Who drew, who drew this? Another Jim Lee. Void, another Jim Lee. Grifter. The, card, the cards are great. Great design work. So, here we go. We're going to just do our best here. This is nuts. This, so back in the day, I had Hellspawn here. Oh, and they're, they are a little bit loose. So these are like played with. Wow. Uh, I had Hellspawn in my original art studio back at my parents' house. Here's Grifter. Zelot with her blades intact. Check out Maul. These are so well done. The colors, the sculpt, the sculpture, the details, like it, they really they they went all out. Now I see Warblade and I see here we go, Warblade, he's loose. There she is, Void, that's our babe. Pike, check out Deadpool, everyone. Nah, just joking. It's Pike. It's Pike. It's not Deadpool. We may have to make Pike and Crypt the the dual mascots of this table. 
Pike is just beyond cool. And then who's in our oh, We got Spartan, Void, and Demon Knight. So we have the entire... There's the Demon Knight. We have the entire Wildcat. So, and wow, this was... He is destroyed and repainted, potentially? Wow, that's interesting. But check out Spartan. I mean, perfect... I am the hero design. Void's got a little bit of... I mean, we can fix this. I think you just... Or... Oh, no. Was she designed to stand? Yeah, she's designed to stand like that. But check out the chrome for Void. This is crazy. I can literally see my reflection in her abdomen here. So, there it is. Like, there's... So, it's pretty much the launch everything for Wildcats. We can just, let's just, it's funny, Lord M never got, never got a figure. Here we go. We got good guys on the top, right here. We got bad guys on the bottom. I believe it came with only one or two of the bases. Uh, we got three. So these are affordable. I can replace these. I'm probably going to. I'm not sure. Why does this one have like a peg? Is that maybe there's a maybe one of them had like a peg insert? Well, we'll we're learning about that. So look, check it out. Demon Knight Hive, De Demon Knight Egg. This was Void's electricity, or Void's, see? Oh, that's what this was right here. So Void kind of stood on the stand like that. How cool. AKA Patterns, this is pre-adult collector taking over the marketplace. Uh, I would say this could be Pikes. I mean, pre-collector taking over the marketplace. And... We have bases, we have interchangeable hands, like here's one for Spartan. And that's like an awesome neon pink. These are really the precursor, we know this one is Void. These are the precursors to the adult collect collector market, which has now overtaken everything. Warblade with a additional hand. Maul had these kind of cool, like, gauntlets right here. Whatever, right? There you go. And crowbar. Who, who would get the crowbar? <laughs> Maul, maybe? I don't know. Who gets the crowbar? There we go. This is what we wanted right here. We want the Coda weapons. So we get Zelot here. I know a lot of you make fun of how I pronounce Zelot. It's Zelot, I guess. Here we go. We got two for her. These figures are so well put together. We will get into the trading cards. See, another cool uh, swap swap in arm for Spartan here is I love the cybernetic, you know, his forearms like exposed. Like, how cool is Because the comic loved destroying. I mean, you guys saw that on this channel. The comic loves destroying Spartan. Here we go. We got Hellspawn with his orb. I mean, come on, guys. Hellspawn's a cool design. It's one of Jim Lee's best. Uh, I that's my man. We'll say maybe because that kind of matches Void. Maybe Void's got a spear. And then the rest is we do have. I'll just get like that. So we do have another 
blade. Oh, I guess like Zelot, you know, she wanted to just throw the blade like she does in Wildcats issue one. Thank God we got the weapons. So we have the double pistols for Grifter. Oh, we got one right here too. Wow, Grifter's got a lot of guns. I know there's some comms missing. Each of the Wildcats came with a Halo Industries comm, like walkie-talkie. Wow, look at these. So some of these two might be pikes, right? We'll have to look that up. We know the big blade goes to Warblade, but we want Grifter complete, right? We want Grifter with his freaking cool guns. This gun too, it's such a cool design. And you can tell, like, look at look at the hand here. I mean, these are played with, which makes it makes me feel a little bit better having them. I'm a little bit of the the guy in like the the philosophical conversation in Toy Story too. Like, do we open toys or do we do we uh, keep them in the package and preserve them? Uh, a lot of people will say we do we do both, and some people do. I. I think you should preserve them, honestly. But if you have a chance to get a bunch of them loose. Don't. So these are, here's the wild thing. Down the road, I believe you get an alternate Zelot Maul. You get a Shadow Pike. You get a, I think, a, or a Stealth Spartan. You get another version of, you get a Metallic. Warblade. A lot of these characters, they got... And we'll see here. Maybe we can do the, the back. So this was like the original release, right? And then release two got... Here Here we go. So again, we have all of release one here. Which is... that's That was my prime focus. Okay. Oh, and we have some of the weapons right here. Cool. Demonite battle base. That's what we need for Pike. So Pike has his breakaway battle staff. Oh, hold up. Oh, cool. Look at that. Huh. Let's give that to him. We'll break away. We'll give him his, his black. Sorry, AK powers. I'm learning here. I did not know the details of this toy line. Like, I did not know the ins and outs. I'm curious of who the crowbar goes to. But see how, like, they try and capture the Jim Lee and the Wildstorm era technology and the the sections in the the tubing, like the, the cybernetic aspect or the, the biotechnology aspect of some of this. The uh, uh, Werner Studios, I'm pretty sure that's who sculpted these originally. And they did a hell of a job. Yeah, see, like Maul and Kevlon all-weather combat suit. Uh, Hellspawn, Supreme Ruler of the Demon Knight Empire. So he gets to... Almost every single one of the initial releases gets a second release. And then the second wave was the, almost like the repaints. But we get Mr. Majestic, Slag, Black Razor. We get three new characters and the rest are repaints. So all of these though, the cool thing is all of these have their own unique trading card. So it's not like... The Z-Lot here and the Z-Lot in classic Coda uniform had the same trading card. They had two separate trading cards. See, like Spartan and ECM South Suit, there's a trading card just for that. But here, you know, we get the initial trading cards. And they are well drawn. They are well done. We, we profiled a lot of, like, here's a great Jim Lee one here. Like, we profiled a lot of Wildstorm trading cards on this channel. And the trading cards, they start at, like, a peak. They kind of start here. Like, right here. Right? Like, fully painted. Oh, these are some of my trading cards. But they, but they start fully painted fully detailed uh, a showcase for the artist the company 
as time marches on, really, trade even trading card wise, they lost their mojo. Some of these lean towards that. I would say this Warblade leans towards that, but I would say overall, like these are, I mean the the Ryan Benjamin Mall one's great, the Hellspawn one's great. Like, do we have art? Oh yeah, Anthony Vu. So we get even the art credits. Tom Rainey. We know that's Jim Lee. We know that is, yeah, Anthony Vu. With a very, like, Scott Clark looking head there. And I've always been curious about these. I, I somehow believe I might have had one or two of them back in the day. Because I only bought these ones that stood out. And I may have bought Hellspont. And at the time, I was really into Mr. Majestic, even though he, I don't feel like he fits very well in the um, Wildstorm universe. And I guess, look, someone must have had these in a binder just to, you know, for record keeping. That's kind of cool. So who's got the crowbar? <laughs> who's got the crowbar? See, Grifter had... Oh, yeah, so we don't have Grifter's rifle. Who's got... I mean, Maul's got to have the crowbar. Yes, Maul comes with the crowbar. So let's... Let's complete Maul here. So, yeah, so we're missing some accessories. I don't think any of it is that big of a deal. Because a lot of what we do here for Wildstorm Wednesday, we want to do the broad strokes... But look, check out like the veins here for the Demon Knight. The veins, the pimples. Really nice stuff, aka patterns. Yeah, check them out. Wildcats by Playmate Toys. <laughs> oh, oh, Grifter. Yeah, what I would not do to voodoo. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Hey, aka patterns, you guys snuck up on me again. You keep doing that this episode of Wildstorm Wednesday. Hey, welcome to my morning coffee time. I'm, I'm literally trying to start my day, have some coffee, answer a couple calls, check my emails, and start the whole business day. But instead, I got I to play with toys and action figures and, and plastic. And uh, what the hell am I doing? Uh, I guess this is what being very thorough in a long-form study does to the adult male. Uh, just makes us into uh, unbangable children. Holy crap. What am I doing? Well, anyway, sus subscribe, support, leave a comment, and support your boy over here. We're doing the best content on YouTube, and you know it. You know it.